So I think I'm just going to jump in and talk about this one. This was actually something that I kind of practiced and like really, really thought about how I was going to articulate this before I made this video because I knew I was going to catch a lot of heat on it just because a lot of people don't agree with me when it comes to the quality of anime games. Now, I'm going to level with you guys here. I'm going to try and and give all the positive stuff at the beginning. I'm going to really, really try, okay? Because I know a lot of you guys don't really listen. A lot of you guys don't really understand. A lot of you guys just read a title and then you're just like, I need to go to the comments and rage about stuff. Listen, listen. So we're talking about Demon Slayer, the video game today. Now I am a huge fan of it. Really, really big fan. I love it. I love the characters. I love the show. I love the story the like the overall plot i love the world and the setting that it's in because it reminds me of like when i got into anime and like this feudal japan era stuff like at the time i was watching inuyasha when i was a kid or trigun or cowboy bebop and it just has this kind of like really artsy feel to the anime and that's what i really like while also being in this feudal japan era but they also have steam trains and guns so i Whatever, I, the time period doesn't matter, but the show is beautiful, the art style is amazing, the characters are great, I enjoy almost all of it. With that said, now I have to jump into why I think it's not a great idea to have a Demon Slayer game. Just off the bat, I have to say, think about it guys, let's think about it here. <laughs> I remember there was a time period, a long, long, long block of time period where anime games would come out and they were amazing. From the Naruto Storm games, the Ultimate Ninja games, the Budokai games, um, shoot, it, there's just so many great anime games. This is without a doubt 100%. But with that said, I think we need to have the conversation about who's allowed to run with licenses. And it just seems like it's always the same amount of people getting the licenses. It's the same people hiring the same developers to take these licenses and create these games. Now, I'm not saying that uh, these games are bad. Uh, in no way do I say that Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is bad. I'm just saying it has bad moments. Overall, in the game, it's probably like a C, C minus, maybe B minus, honestly. But it's not like those amazing other games that are within the same genre. And that comes down to a few reasons. And it's because Namco Bandai, as great as these guys are, they just continue to hire the same four to five teams for everything. So when I see CyberConnect2 make a game, when I see Demps make a game, it's just, it's always back and forth, okay? It's just always the same couple of companies and they create the same type of games. For a while now, we have not had great anime games it, to the standard of the other games that replicate the same similar genres. You know what I mean? Like, I think Dragon Ball Z Kakarot was really an outlier situation where the beginning of the game was great. The middle of the game around the Android saga and the Frieza saga was like ah, sluggish into the Cell saga. And it's like, oh, this isn't it. And then you get to Vegito and on and the rest of the game is just quality. It's amazing great cool and this is not just me saying this this has been multiple people that play anime games publicly your favorite some of your favorite anime people on the internet also feel the same way about dragon ball z kakarot which is fine everybody's allowed to have their own opinion but i think we have to look at this a little objectively um the naruto storm series great up until we got to the fourth one and it was like geez this is where we're going then we got jump force then there was a seven deadly sins game and there was just so numerous other games that came out and it was like there was like a one piece game and like a bunch of other ones not saying that all anime games are bad i please understand this it's just recently we haven't really been getting the quality of stuff that we should should absolutely get uh, there's two things I want to eliminate from newer anime games that are coming out. Multiplayer and hub worlds. Not every anime game needs to be multiplayer and not every anime game needs a hub world. None of them need it. And, and if we're going to really extend it, the third thing is created custom characters. We don't need that. It just really doesn't. If you're going to create a game, much like Dragon Ball Z Kakarot and much like how Demon Slayer is probably going to be, it's going to be retelling a story that you've already experienced. It's not going to be a whole lot of people picking up the Demon Slayer game or picking up the Dragon Ball Z Kakarot game who have zero experience with those franchises because otherwise they wouldn't make the game if they weren't popular. So 
With that said, I personally will offer these critiques because I know all the time a lot of people like to argue with me on Twitter. Oh, Jay, what about this scenario? What about that scenario? These are all great. But what I'm going to do, instead of just pointing out a problem, I'm going to point out a solution. I think let's start from the top. I think when it comes to Namco, Namco Bandai getting these licenses, I think they really should look to other studios aside from the usual four to five that they use. Um, I would have loved to see, love, love, love to see Team Ninja, the guys behind Dead or Alive. And I don't mean like Jiggle Physics Dead or Alive. I mean Team Ninja, like Ninja Gaiden, like those guys. I want them to make a Demon Slayer game. That would be amazing. If they could somehow make those partnerships work, which I'm not sure how licensing contracts and all that other stuff, this is just me making up this scenario. I would love to see uh, a, an RPG Boruto game come out where you actually do play the Boruto story, but it plays over the shoulder and almost like Uzumaki Chronicles and you go on missions and stuff like that. And then also with a little bit of the Witcher 3 flair, which I believe is the greatest RPG to ever exist. It's one of those ones where there's so much to do, so many characters, so many things to interact with, so many different level ups and different types of way to play the game and skill trees and upgrades and just it's a fantastic RPG. But then if you get too far, you end up where Red Dead Redemption is, where if that game could, I'm pretty sure Rockstar would have put a breathe in and breathe out button in the game just because there's so much stuff to do that it's paralyzing to even want to play the game and it's just like what why do i want to go through chores like i i don't want to do them in real life i definitely don't want to do them in a video game so i think there's some fair ground in between those two rpg styles where you could fit a boruto game where you could fit a demon slayer game where you could hell i'll even say it, you could fit a fairy tale or black clover game in between there somewhere and then you have your typical fighting games you have your adventure games i'll even take a naruto kart racer honestly i think at this point we need to really look at the anime games that are coming out and let's try to diversify a little bit there are many different types of games and many different genres of games and ways to tell the story that is awesome to you i really would think that demon slayer would benefit from a single player game that works much like the Witcher or Dragon Age, where you can customize, uh, you can customize every character on your party. Actually, you can have up to three members on a party. You can customize, and they each one of them has a different skill tree. So you're still going through the story and experiencing all the cool stuff. But let's say Tanjiro is a little bit more of a swordsman in this one, or he uses his sword less and he does more hand-to-hand -hand combat. You have lethal, non-lethal, different ways to play, different skill trees. Maybe he uh has different agility skills that you can use uh you know what i mean like there's different ways to customize the way you play and experience the game now with all that said obviously i only know so many games because i've played tons of games so i'm thinking this is probably going to be another one of those anime games where we just kind of it just kind of comes and goes i would love if they wait this is my biggest gripe with the whole thing, honestly. Just really. Everything else could go out the window. I could not care about that. But I believe just making a game off of season one is a little too short. Just for me, it feels like there's only like maybe eight or nine major fights. And then you're hit with a cliffhanger with Rin Goku and the Infinity Train arc. Now, if they would want to wait until after that, or even if... The game is being developed while the anime is going and they've already created the anime part so that way when the anime finishes with the rengoku arc the game drops that would be amazing like that's like imagine episodes of my hero academia finishing and like say there's like my hero one's justice right one's justice two and they add dlc every month based on like the new events that happen in the anime that's currently running i know that's a little ridiculous but that would be a really cool event to happen um which is why i talk about shinobi striker and how that probably would be a good game if they had live updates and stuff like that but that's beside the point all i'm saying is i think with the anime communities because we just buy everything and we're just oh my god it's an anime game oh i need it like we really have to pick and choose our battles here. So I understand all of the people that may be mad at me. I understand all the people that may downvote this because Demon Slayer is amazing and you should love it for absolutely no reason and blah, 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 blah. And you're not a true fan if you don't want a game to come out. I get you.
I hear what you're saying. I don't care, but I hear what you're saying. I think we really need to aim for quality here. And the more times we focus on just buy the game so we can get more of them and we need to divert that attention over to we should only buy games of quality. Now, I understand a lot of us are different. A lot of us have different tastes. That's fine. I'm not knocking you for what you like, but in my day, <laughs> I'm playing the old man card. Nephews, let me tell you, back in my day, okay, anime games were passionate. You could sense the amount of passion that there, were, that there was in games like Tenkaichi and the Ultimate Ninja series and shit, even Yu Yu Hakusho Dark Tournament. Like, maybe not that one, <laughs> but it was just a completely different era when I was a kid in comparison to now where there's less competition than ever, but also at the same time, more competition than ever. So that's just, these are just my thoughts, my opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I would love to have a conversation about this. What do you guys think? Do you think it's too soon for a Demon Slayer game? Please let me know. Uh, how did you feel about Dragon Ball Z Kakarot? Is that something that you're interested in getting? Because honestly, from the people and the trusted sources that I've pretty much brought in for this and like referenced, they didn't really enjoy the game either. Like the game was fun, but they're also content creators and some of them aren't. And it's just like, this game was not it, Chief. But let me know, I'm, I'm interested. Uh, shoot me a message on Twitter. Uh, go ahead and follow me. There's gonna be, be a link down in the description below. So you guys can, you know, let's start a dialogue here a little bit. Make sure you guys follow me on there. Also, if you would like, memberships are now available. <laughs> so if you guys would like to support the, the channel as a whole, go ahead and scroll down and hit one of those for me and become part of the Sama Sanctum. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that, especially during these hard times right now. Uh, listen, not just me, but I think everybody could use the help. But uh, until next time, this has been your man, Just Jay Sama. I will see you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon.